Um, I'm also going to be using some of these, which are the silks like I used before. But I can mix and match them with the acrylic paints. So I'm just going to get those out. I'm also going to mix and match them with the watercolours. And I know someone's going to say, oh, you can't do that. Yes, you can. You can do what you like. No orthodox way of painting me, of doing anything. So hopefully I can get this in to position where you can actually watch what I'm doing. Got my little dishes. We do sell these in the store. Um, I'm going to move that out of the way. Got a mixture of brushes. I need to get this in frame so you can actually see. Because first of all, what I have to do is to paint it white. So I'm just going to pop my little paint pots here so that my brushes don't roll off. Put them where I can see them all. And just take these out. We also sell the watercolours in the shop as well. So it's, uh, you know, people say, oh, well, where can I get the product from? Most of what we use, uh, or what I use in my crafting, you can buy in the store. So let's just uh, take the tubes of paint out. Just in case I need to colour a little bit of something else. But, um, yeah, I can use all of that. I don't need the brush, but, oh, they actually give a decent brush these days. Hmm. Might need the brush, actually. Right, so, here we go. I've got my water, got my acrylic paints, uh, and I'm just going to paint the whole lot white before I do any colouring whatsoever. So this part will be speeded up. Um, I'm using the Winsor & Newton uh, acrylic because it's one of the best ones to use. Oops, a daisy. <laughs> Let's give it a good blow. Just going to use a wide brush and um, get rid of all of this. Off the lid again. As you know, I paint from the lid. Now, will it need one or two coats? Uh, two coats? We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to dry it off, which is a good thing, so it'll speed it up. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to do basic colours first before I do any blending in, um, you know, and making it look how I want it to look. So we're just going to go, uh, of course, the toadstool is going to be red. And, um, well, no, it doesn't have to be red, actually. But I do have this colour that I want to do it in. Uh, this is the Lumiere paint and this is the crimson. Um, and I'm going to use, this is a size 5 artist brush. And we just start basically painting it. May need several layers.
Now, it is shaking now because I've swapped cameras um, and it's white. Uh, I can't help that because I've got the other battery charging up at the moment. But what I'm doing is I'm leaving that. We've got the start of the toadstool. Um, I'm now going to add the brown for the stalk. Just move that a little bit out the way. Um, let's just have a look which brush I've got. Yeah, that'll do. And this one I'm using, again, is the Dale Rowney, and it's the um, Burnt Umber. Now, I also need a touch of white for this. So we're doing the stalk for underneath, which goes behind uh, the snail. Just going to use um, a small brush for this. Not bothered if it goes on the snail at all. We can sort that out. I do need to turn this round a little bit. Oops. Just so I can there. Uh, get this done. Now I'm going to touch of white and that will colour that. Sorry, I'm just going to download the one I've already done so it's ready for the next one. There we go. Now back to the. I've got to do this a little bit dark underneath. Remember the shading and that. Just going to do a hint of brown under there. Just doing under the edge. Um, and the mushroom just goes to here. I'm just going to colour under the edge there so that when I go to do the background, which is green, I, I can don't have to worry about um, fiddly places. It's already been done. And I think um, there, that's much better. Not worried if it goes on the leaf or anything like that because we will be sorting that out anyway. And there's our little snail again. Um. There we go, I've got plenty on there that I need. Take a hint of the white again and from the bottom up because underneath would be darker. So you just need the light going in underneath at the bottom. See, gives you that look um, of underneath shadow. like that. Quite happy with that. Uh, 
yeah love that nice shade in there right that's that oh no what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do the uh, I need a thin brush so I'm now going to do where are we here we are uh, the snail we're going to give him a little coat of something um, my snail is going to have a gold shell beautiful gold hue shell so I'm using the silk paint and it's called silks that's the name of it if I've had a lot of people ask me about it what the names are of the paints Just going to dry that off so I can put the neck layer on. This is just the base coat. Um, I will be doing a lot more shading than that to it if I think it needs it. Again, paint from the lid. Just going to turn this round slightly so I can see this bit of a edge here. Okay, okay. Turn it back round. Get there in the nook cranny bit there. There we go. Um, just gonna dry that bit off. And at the same time, I'm going to use a little bit of the brown acrylic. Just a touch. You might not be able to see it on screen, but it's blended in really, really nicely. Right, that's that. Just gonna put, I need the white out actually, and just put the brown away. Uh, and I'm going to use this one, which is the silks, and it's the olive vine. The olive vine. <sighs> Just dry this off. Just 
so we've got the olive vine And if you're saying, oh, snails are green, mine is. Remember, it's yours. You can do anything you want to it. Anything. Now what I'm going to do, when I take my little dish, I'll use the other half of this. I need to wash the brush a minute. Take some white acrylic take some of the color and mix that together and that will thicken that up for me oh perfect A little bit more darker green on the underneath. Just wash the brush. And then blend that in. Like that. And we get a touch of the green that goes dark in there. Mix a little white and blend that in. Like that. Like that a lot. I'm going to put a little eye in mine. That's my little snail. And that's that one done. So now I can go around and touch everything up when I've done it. Add more shade in anything that I need to do. Okay, now, we've got two little mushrooms here. Um, again, we need to use the red again. And colour these in. I'm just going to go over in the pink that I did. Okay, take the red again. No, I've said that again. Swing this around for me. Yeah. Yep. 
Yep, that's fine. Just a dip of the white in the creases. It just shows, you know, you've got um, a little bit of split in the mushroom or toadstool, whatever you want to call them. There. Just going to go over this again. That's fine. Wash that. <coughs> Take the brown acrylic I'm just gonna do the stalks trying to film this and paint it is uh, hard <laughs> Again, we take a little bit of the white. Get my little pot just to mix that a bit. And that just gives it a little subtle of light like that. I'm actually going to paint this one a little bit more. Like that. Okay. So so far we've got that. <coughs> oh, we'll sort all of these out. I mean um I also want to just add in wash my brush a bit more um, some white and some little ones here Just need a touch, you don't need too much. I miss one or two here. Again, just a touch. Like that. Yeah, 
I'm going to decorate this guy up a little bit more shortly. Um, now I'm going to do is to do the uh, colour. Now, what colour am I going to do here? Latte, am I? I think. Just going to do the fairy in latte. This is the artist. We sell this in the store as well. Right, I'm just going to pop that back on there, turn her around just so I can reach her face. I mean, I'm only working with the things I've got here in the shop. I've brought some personal stuff down, but I haven't got all my paints. So I'm basically just working with what I have. Okay, let's just turn this around. Actually, sometimes it's easier just to hold it. I don't want to get anything on this. Here's we've got to be very careful. But you can still go over with acrylics, you can go over acry acrylic over acrylic. Got that. Yeah. Just got that covered. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is just bring out some of the colour I'm just using from the lid. Um, I'm also going to add a hint, just a hint of the pink. I think, pink and think, eh? and just mix those two together. I'm going to need a little bit more. Now that is too pink, but it's more like what I'm after. So what I'm going to do is add some more white. And 
the one I was using. There we go. And mix my palette up what I want. That's better. And this will all, oh, that's more like it. Yeah. Now that I've already covered what I needed to cover, I can now plaster this on fine. But like I say, I'm not going to be doing a lot of the shading. I'll do it as I go along in some places and the rest will just get that done after the whole picture's finished. I'm just getting the basic outline of the picture coloured first. There, and I'm quite happy with that. Quite happy. Just pop these out the way. I may need them for something else. Um, but right now, I think that's fine. Yeah. And I think what we'll do next is the dress. Now I was thinking, I might just do this, because it's quite colourful. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to put her in a blue dress. Yeah, I'm going to put her a blue and green dress, I think. <gasps> Look at that. Again, this is the silks. Um, I need a decent brush. Hmm, where's my I don't think I need that size brush. I'm gonna use one of these flatter ones. And just just want to get the outline done and I can finish everything off myself with the other brushes I'm just gonna get the basic one on because using a bigger flat brush gets it on quicker but um, it's not the right brush to use by all means I just want to get the dress done
Okay, so. <coughs> Pretty sure it's still in view. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I hope you can see this. Oh. Now, I need to get this over here. There we go.
Okay, now what I'm going to do is keep that open, just shake it again because I might need to use from the lid. For those who don't know, I just use from, uh, paint from the lids because it does save on um, you. Oops, that was a bit what's it, wasn't it? It does save you from actually getting it all over the place. You know, spoiling the pot basically. What I'm going to do with that actually is to take that off of there and put it back in the pot. Just from the edge. <laughs> okay, and like I say, I am going to use the lime green. It's called key lime. There we go. And just do that. Get my flat brush. And brush this into it. Oh, beautiful colour. It is just a beautiful, beautiful colour. Remember to follow the contour of the material when you're doing anything like this. Again, just blending that in. I'm going to take a little of the white. Um, we'll see. I need to dab it in the blue. You just the white is basically to highlight the light areas like on her shoulder there she's gonna have the light hitting her and you always take the light from one side if your lights coming from the right then obviously you paint on the lighter side of something so that's the sleeve I've put a little bit of white there I'm gonna put a little extra here to blend that in see and then obviously on the back she's going to have some light
and they'll probably be a little bit more light from here just wash that off with acrylics before it dries you can pull it back like that and remember the contour so the legs going up and over the dress is going like that Okay, now we have to darken this section here behind the leg. So I'm just going to pop all my lids back on before I tip my pots over because I'm very good at doing that. Now I don't have black, but what I do have is a dark nutmeg. And what I'm going to do is mix that with um, the blue, sorry just to mix that with the blue um, get a li another little pot you just need a smidgen it's not a big area to cover but that will darken that see that's darken that now a little bit more in there um, and I'm gonna have to use a thinner brush And let me say, cover the hole, and then we darken this because that is underneath the legs. I'm just gonna have to turn it round for me. Now, of course, this top section is going to be darker than anything, so we're just going to put a little bit of brown on it and darken that in there. Like that. And I do believe she's, uh, that's more of the mushroom. So, um, I need to go back to my original uh, red. Where did I get my red? Here we are. Just wash the brush dry this off a little bit <coughs> I've just noticed the, uh, where the dress finished so we'll just put that back in and of course that would be quite dark it finished there I just noticed that from the mushroom bit there let me just spin that around yes I've got it <laughs> That's it. There. <laughs> Looks much better. Let that dry. I'm just going to touch up where they've gone over on the dress. And that's basically all you do is just touch up. like that bring that down blend it in brilliant love it perfect uh, and I think that's it for this time I, I'm going to take a break um, make myself a drink and do some more orders thanks for watching please get ready for part two um, next time take care bye bye for now